My name is Bradley. You know, I grew up in a in, in pretty good household, middle class family, plenty of opportunities, resources. Um, using came along just as part of um, just trying to fit in, you know, just trying to be a part of. The funny thing is about experimentation is, you know, using drugs. The, the interesting is, the interesting thing is that you um, you cross a line and you lose control. You know, when you're when you're an addict, nothing really causes, it and you you lose the power of choice. I thought for a long time that I could do it by myself. I just didn't want to. But it, I, you know, it, it crossed the line and it became more problems than fun, and you know, I was powerless to do anything over it. But I didn't truly want help until I went to prison and I, I was at the bottom. You know, I was tired of hurting myself. I was tired of hurting other people. When I finally got help, you know, I finally was able to ask for help. Um, I entered a long-term treatment program and I was at a point where I was willing to do whatever it took to not go back to, to where I was and the way I was living. And um, at that point in time, I basically surrendered and I said, I'll do whatever. You know, and I met other people that were in recovery and I did what they told me to do. My, you know, my life depended on it at that point in time. There were points um, early in recovery where I, I could see that I was being successful, but I always knew that I was only one bad decision away from going back to where I was. My life today is, is a lot different than it was when I was using. When I was using, I willfully traded relationships with my family, a uh, place to live. I traded my jobs. I traded, you know, I, I traded my freedom to use. Today, well, since I've been able to stay clean, I, um, I finished school. You know, I have a career in the helping profession. You know, I, I work helping other people, primarily with opioid addiction. Sobriety has brought me closer to my family. You know, I'm, I can actually have civil conversations with them. I have, um, I've been able to have uh, meaningful relationships with other people. People trust me, you know, they count on me today. I like to think of myself today as a leader, um, so a positive influence on people, someone that can help people. Um, I like to think of myself as a friend, somebody that cares about people, somebody that's honest. I had to believe in myself, and today I believe in other people, you know. If I can make a change, I know anybody can make a change. My name is Bradley, and I took back my life.